Ya que acabamos con el X Sagradas, vamos de nuevo con el estafador y ahora sí vamos a empezar las misiones del estafador. strange dream of yours. I knew you'd be interested. That dream. Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. My own pupil in the trade of miracles. Vegetables, fruits, apples, cucumbers, onions. Come get them. And I'm in luck. On the contrary, I, the lucky one. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? Well, what exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? Your lot of work and strength and flavor. Knowledge of medicine, theology, and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their songs. Garlic, onions, mushrooms, and asparagus. Come right That's a pretty challenging task. Shy. That's why God has sent you. So what do you say? First, tell me, who are you, and what do you do? <laughs> I am an unworthy, low, miserable servant of providence, scholar or merchant, believer or heathen. I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon, offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon. Providing the miracles that people Honey need. Cucumbers, Ointments, cucumbers, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. What is that? Have a look at these cucumbers. Nothing to it. That's why God has sent you. <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. No soy un ladrón. Soy exactamente un ladrón. Go on. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman for luck. Vegetables, fresh vegetables. Bloody hell, yeah, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth. It's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have cabbage, an alternative cabbage. solution. I'm listening. A layman Hit named Procopius lives by the monastery. And it just so happens, Lame, thanks to my long, intricate medical knowledge, pie. that I found out he has a sick tooth. How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happened, <laughs> <laughs> and how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something, but maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull. Wouldn't that be swindling people? It is, and it isn't. If I sell that tooth as the tooth of Saint Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sasal, then I'm cheating nobody. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter whose tooth I bring then. Of course it does. 
The name Procopius in this holy land is shrouded with mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial Garlic, trick on someone, carrot, but beef, I assure onion, you, I'm no swindler. All the fruits in the ground, fresh. Come right up. Fine. I'll get it from him. Salami, Wonderful. Sausages, lard of all okay. Kinds, El diente. Water, more than the this fire. topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, uh, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top on of the face. roof of a new house to bring good fortune Play, and fatty, God's blessing. Novels, well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it Maybe hangs on the highest church far and wide. Garlic, I can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Right Fair on. enough. No need to be shy. That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition, and the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Good Damn good. if I know. Good. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? <laughs> Very well. I'll get it. Garlic, onions, mushrooms and asparagus. This player's talisman. No need to be Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Vegetables, fresh vegetables. Uh, I thought so too. Look, but smell. this man oh, is winning lovely. one game after another. <laughs> Cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. Okay. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't clue. <laughs> 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 to it. But I'm sure you'll find a way. Onion soup for the spring. We'll see. Asparagus for taste and prunes Very well. for what ails you. I'll get you the pork. I'll get looking for those. Excellent. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like. Oh. Now take care. Bueno, ya estuvo. ¿Qué vamos a hacer primero? Primero voy a quitar esto y este, milagros mientras espera. El punto C es el que está más cerca, vamos ahí, vamos para allá. Pues aquí está el jugador. Y... Vamos a grabar aquí. Voy a salir y grabar. Pues resulta que, que el apostador desapareció. Estaba enfrente de mí y ahora está, está acá. Listo. ¿Qué, qué, qué quieres? Bueno, no, nadie me vio. Ahora vamos por el diente. el tipo, ¿no? Diálogo 8 Tengo una poción de bardo Poción de bardo Tengo 21, de hecho Solo necesito una 
Tengo varias penalidades ahorita. Pesadillas me... Me baja dos. Lengua de oro. Um, ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Ah, sí. Del barro. Ah, a este es el que le tengo que robar una cosa para... Para... Para lo de la desenvidia, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, no me acuerdo. Procopio. My humble greetings. How may I? Doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? You too. But it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? Como sé, soy un médico. As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Así es. Is that what I and if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. No, I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man and I need an escort. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then and get this over with. Vamos, Procopio. This is... Voy a brincar mientras que Procopio se mueve.
Yo ya tengo el diente de Procopio. <risa> Ahora lo que necesito es una un arco y flecha. Pues aquí tengo los ar aquí tengo el arco, pero me faltan las flechas. Con unas 3, 4 flechas para el último cosa. Good health there. Uh, comprar flecha común. Ya está. Muy bien, ahora vamos a por la rama esa. Estoy listo, estoy listo. Estoy listo, estoy listo. Yeah. <risa> Listo. Uh. Ya tenemos las tres cosas que quería. Y... Hasta me subió un nivel de arco. Bueno, voy a grabar y luego vamos con ese tipo. to look for those items you wanted. Splendid, splendid. So, show me what you got there. The tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. <laughs> but it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's a miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now, don't exaggerate. Soy diálogo. One cat paw for luck. Marvelous. Let's just hope it brings us luck as well. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. 
Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So, we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next matter. So, about my reward. Not so fast, young man. There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes? Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now, he's lying in the small church in Sasa. And who was this Lokota? I know only a little. But according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. See you later. Well, let's preguntemos. God grant you health. Who's the man who died? The one who's lying oh. in the church. Oh, that was old Lukota. He was a respectable fellow. And how did he make a living? He was a butcher of some renown in the region. Was he a local? Oh, no. He came here from Vlashin because of an argument with his brother. We weren't too keen on him at first. His trade took customers away from our old butcher, you see. But we soon realized he was a decent man and we all grew to love him. Bless him. Sad loss. What about his family? His wife, Lucy. Lucy. He passed away a long time ago, poor soul. He was never the same since then. He never laughed from the heart anymore. But he's left two sons behind, Peter and Mark. Peter, Mark, Lucy, bless him. What are his sons like? Oh, they're sturdy men. Sturdy and straightforward, mind you. <laughs> Peter doesn't have any sense of humor that you'd notice. He takes everything as seriously as a sermon. Mark's a more open sort. And a little superstitious, but don't make fun of him. Thank you. Goodbye. Got it for you right here. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell was that? Tal vez fue un caballo. ¿Has considerado eso? Tentador, tentador, si sí lo voy a hacer. ¿Qué es esto? Para ir a la torre. Interesante. San Dorotea y telarañas Pues, ¿qué cosas? Wow 
What are you up to here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards on you. Ok, tengo que grabar. Ok, listo, estamos de vuelta, vamos a hablar con este tipo. Peter, es el serio. My condolences. Thank you. I've come to pay my last respects to a dear relative. Have you? I've never seen you before. I believe I'm your cousin. Nosotros somos de Blasim. Unlike yours, my father never left Blasim. He must have told you where our family comes from. He never talked about it much. They didn't see eye to eye. You're right. Bad blood. For a long time, I didn't know my father had a brother. So then you know my father also married a woman from Blasim. Lucy. Of course. I've heard only good things about Lucy to this day. Good God, it's true. You are my cousin. I certainly am. <laughs> Go ahead. Pay your respects to my father. I'm sure he'd be pleased. You're welcome to come to the funeral. And come and see us at home too. Well, that's very kind, but I'll have to return to Blasham soon. That's why I came straight here. Go. My condolences. Thank you. Ok, todos están volteados. <ríe> ok, ya está. Vámonos. Estoy atorado. Ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo estás? Tengo que. Lord Almighty, be quiet. Not here. You don't want everyone to see it, do you? Wait for me at my place. I'll be with you. ¿Y dónde vive? Casi al final del pueblo.
Okay. I have the shroud for you. Help you now. Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why. Good luck then. That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. Uh oh. Es hora de tomarme. Una poción de bardo. Pues nos llevamos todo. Ya que estamos aquí. Nada que me interese. He swindled me too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard! Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go! Rufian. Listo, me dieron mi desespera. <laughs> 